Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're going to look at Gmail's confidential mode. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of these tips and tricks. Now with that being said, let's dive into our Gmail. Right, we're in Gmail, we're trying to send an email and it contains some sensitive data or information. What can we do? Well, there's a new functionality called confidential mode, and this is going to allow you to block people from forwarding your email, from downloading attachments, or even from retaining this email for a prolonged period of time. You can set expiry dates and you can even make your email disappear. One note though, your admin has to opt in. At the moment, it is still in beta, and that means that your admin has to first dive into the admin console and turn it on. Now that we're in our admin console, the first thing you need to do is find the Gmail settings. So you can either click on apps and then navigate to Gmail, or you can simply type Gmail in the search box at the top. Now, when you are searching at the top, make sure that you select settings for Gmail. Now, once you're in your settings, scroll down and find the user settings. Now, within user settings, it's just another scroll until you find confidential mode. Now, as you can see, it's still in beta, but this is where your admin can switch it on. Once it's switched on, it becomes available in your compose window. So let's dive back into our Gmail. Now let's click on compose and let's start composing a new message. Now let's say that this message contains credit card numbers or other important information. I do not want the recipient to keep this email in their inbox and I definitely do not want them to forward or print this email. So let's switch on confidential mode and it can take some time before this feature is rolled out. However, once it's active, you can simply dive into your compose window and once you've typed up your email, you will notice that there is a new icon in the bottom right. Now, when you click on that, you will get your options for your confidential mode. Now, confidential mode is disable printing and forwarding. You can also set an expiry. Now, this expiry will automatically delete the email from the recipient's inbox. In addition to this, you can also require an SMS passcode or verification to open the email. So overall, I think very powerful features definitely going to be using in some use cases. Now I can hear what you're thinking, you're a bit worried about those managed domains and students and teachers, the vault settings remain active. That means that even confidential emails can still be flagged by your settings within the vault. But more on that in another video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, dive into that comment section and let me know, are you excited about confidential mode? What are you going to be using it for? And can you see any issues with a confidential mode? I would love to hear your voice in that comment section. And if you found it helpful, don't forget to share out this video, subscribe for more videos and hit that bell so you get notified. In the meantime, thank you for watching and you know what to do.